Hey guys, so today basically ARM have unveiled their new uh, quad core Cortex uh, A15 card um, and that's gonna be like available for different manufacturers so like companies like Samsung and you know Apple and all of those guys. Uh, so what is uh, what is Cortex A15? Um, right now many popular smartphones, the iPhone 4S, the Samsung Galaxy S2, I mean a ton of phones out there use uh, or are now built on the ARM technology like they're both running on Cortex a9 but then their own have their own like chipset uh, Apple with their own a5 chipset and then Samsung with uh, their own Exynos chipset uh, but Cortex a15 that uh, to put it very simple it is uh, twice uh, of what Cortex a9 uh, could like do and uh, it is built to run at uh, 2 gigahertz so it would be 2 gigahertz uh, quad core now remember you can still have I mean quad core on with Cortex A9, but Cortex A9 is starting to become kind of old right now, so we're probably going to see this in the future, I mean, Samsung Galaxy S4 or whatever they're now going to call it. Uh, 2013, that's going to be the year when we're going to see more uh, Cortex A15. I don't actually think we're going to see a single device this year with uh, Cortex A15. Um, and we do know that QCOM, they have their own competitor uh, versus uh, ARM's uh, Cortex A9 right now, and that is their new dual core Qcom this S4 chipset that is quite impressive actually I mean I have the HTC One S it's coming with this uh, dual core S4 chipset and I've been benchmarking it a little bit against the the quad core Cortex A9 and you remember the Cortex A9 that's a little older uh, but I mean it's quad core so it has more cores uh, but the dual core S4 chipset it's newer but it has less cores but which one do performs better well from benchmarking tests that I've seen like when when you do like CPU testing the uh, Cortex A9 with quad core it beats it uh, but when you look at like 3D graphics and stuff like that it seems like they are kind of the same uh, so this new QCOM dual core S4 chipset uh, it's it's amazing and we do know that in the states uh, when we're gonna get when you're gonna get your uh, HTC One X but the like the LT variant I think it's gonna be called like HTC Evo 4G LT or something like that uh, it's gonna be running with the QCOM dual core S4 chipset same with the international HTC One S uh, uh, processor so um it's going to be interesting. I mean, of course, QCOM, they're probably going to have the new dual core chipset next year or may start to run on quad core. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, does it matter? Are you gonna notice a difference? I mean, quad core Cortex A9, it's 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 pretty amazing right now. So it's gonna be crazy to see what we can do with uh, quad core A15. And they are still saying that uh, it it still have the same kind of that it won't. Uh, uh, it will maintain the power effic efficiency, so it, it shouldn't drain the battery uh, f so much faster. But hopefully, uh, I really recommend that, or I mean, I really do hope that, uh, that uh, I mean, if this is not something that we have to use in smartphones, um, I, I think that, I mean, we're going to see this in smartphones and uh, that developers are going to find new ways to take advantage of this power. Uh, but if they're going to continue to run on Cortex A9 then that's uh, next year and that's gonna also be awesome because then we can improve the battery life I mean just imagine like next year if we're gonna get like Cortex A9 phones uh, but with an amazing battery life so it will like last for at least one to two days uh, I mean Cortex A9 is um, it, it, it's good you know quad core it, it's it's pretty amazing and QCOM's uh, S4 here is also pretty good but it's still a battery life thing that I, I'm a little bit more worried about right now I want to have at least a day in battery life uh, on my dual core Cortex A9 in my Galaxy Note, um, I, I get I get a pretty bad battery at the moment. Right? I get around seven hours, and uh, I don't think that's acceptable. Okay, um, uh, you know I, I've heard it so much good about the battery in the Galaxy Note, and I'm not sure if it's just me that's a power user. I, I I don't think I use that a lot. I mean, I game I don't game. I use it for a little browsing. I I get constant emails stuff like that. I I talk to people, but I don't actually think that I use it that much. Uh, also, what we'd love to see on let's say your Samsung phones. 
I want to see a better display when you are outside, okay? Because right now, uh, on full brightness, on let's say like the AMOLED displays, it's very hard to see when you're out there in the summer, I mean in the sun. It's very hard to see the display. Apple is better at that. Um, and uh, that's something that is, is, is a little annoying, you know, under the summer, even though we didn't have that much summer in Sweden, you know, we, we fight polar bears and things like that during the winter. And we have like winter eight months of uh, like 12, so yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, ARM, baby. Are you gonna go with ARM or are you gonna go with QCOM? QCOM, they're badass right now with uh, S4 chipsets. I actually, I think I do enjoy that chipset more than the Cortex A9 quad core. Uh, just because it feels a little better. It c could be just me, be me that's having something weird, but I mean, and also that you get a little better sometimes in benchmarking tests um, uh, with the dual core uh, S4 chipset uh, from QCOM. But uh, what do you think? What are we gonna need in in the future smartphones and our developers? What the hell are they gonna do with Cortex A15? I mean, soon we're pr probably gonna be able to run like Windows 8. I mean, like uh, the desktop version on like uh, like five inch smartphones. That would be amazing. Like the Galaxy Note 2, going there with the the full experience of Windows 8. That would be pretty cool, but even though the, the displays would be kind of small, but I mean, the possibilities they are, um, they are you know the devs are gonna have some be able to have some fun to do. We'll be able to see some amazing gaming and stuff in the future, but uh, we need to fix the battery life, bro. Yeah.